Uh, so I was once given an assignment to create a valid ID, uh, but like they gave me certain things. So, and there was a way like to calculate that, because I was given the year that the person is born. I needed to calculate like the month, the check digit, and stuff. So basically, this is the assignment, and they gave me a link to Wikipedia, which is what I'll be using to explain the loan algorithm, how it works. There's two versions, so we will try both versions and tell me if you understand or not. Um, let's copy this ID, because I remember they said it's valid. I hope it is. And we'll use it as our example. Um, just paste it here, and for you to see my screen, I will zoom in a bit. I hope this is visible. So we have our ID number and how this works, we first need to note down our check digit, which is six in this case, right? After doing that, then we need to follow the algorithm. So the algorithm, it's quite simple. There's two ways, which I will explain, but the basic thing that you need to do, you need to get the sum, uh, the sum of the digits, and then you calculate a modulo then you find a check digit if that's not the case there's another one where you subtract so for now i'll just add um how you approach this so i copied the id and i will separate it this way so that it will maybe make sense how everything works um, we'll just exclude the check digit for now maybe we can call it x um so the reason we do this we want to verify if an id is valid or not and the way to ver to verify that we need to know the check digit right so when we calculate or when we plug this number on the loan algorithm it needs to produce a six if it doesn't produce that then it means the id number is not valid so what you do you start um you start by multiplying the numbers are from here but every second one with the two right so what I'll do again I'll copy these numbers and just paste them here and then I will put underscores on the ones that we need to multiply uh, I should have prepared this earlier just yeah so that it will make sense how everything works so you start from here from the right going to the left uh, skipping one digit so it works this way right so this is what you need to do so you multiply this number by two and here you will get a 19 um, and no, it's not 19 it's 16 sorry you get a 16 right and then this one when you multiply by two it's just zero Right, and then this at still a 16 and then here you get a 2 and here you get another 2 and here you get a 0 right so after doing this um, if the numbers were there were no double digits then we would be good to go to the next step but for now because we have two digits so this one we need to separate them so if I have a 16 then I need to make it a, sim a single digit. The 16, I should just add the individual number. So it's like 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. That is what I would do. If I had a 17, that would be 1 plus 7, which will give me an 8. And 8, yeah. Yeah. So for that, so yeah. Now you see how it works. So I'll do the same thing again. Copy this number. This is like the third step. So what I do here, I do the calculations, 1 plus 6 is 7, um, 1 plus 6, it's still a 7. So now that we have this, the next step is to calculate the sum of all the numbers, right? So this is basically step number 1, you need to get the sum, uh, right? So the sum is, I, my math is not that good, so 7 plus 7 is 14, and 14 plus 4 is 18, this is 20, 22, 24, so we get 24. And then here, it's step number 2, so here it's where we find the check digit, so there are two ways of getting this. Okay, step 1, um, step 1, okay, the simplest, I think, you just focus on this number, 
and then you multiply you subtract you use 10 and you subtract this number so check digit with step one will be check digit is equals to 10 is it uh, 10 minus the number that i specified here your single digit minus four of which we do get a six and the six is the one that we're expecting so this number is valid if that was not the case then it's not valid right another way to do this um from this step you just multiply uh check digit uh, is equals to you say 24 multiply by 9 and then mod 10 right so you multiply this by 9 and then you find the remainder if you divide everything by 10 so say 24 times 9 i get 216 then 216 divided by 10 um that's 21 then 21 the remainder that is left at six again so it's still the same thing which i think this method is pretty much easier than this one but basically that is what you do so the algorithm it's that simple you find the sum digits and then you compute your your check some digit using um, either method between the two right so in terms of code you still need to figure out how to separate these two and also you need to have an if statement to check if you have a number that is greater than uh, that is greater than nine because if it's greater than nine from ten if you have a double digit that's where you need to add these two numbers again right so pretty much that's it. I hope it makes sense and I hope it answers um, the question how does loan algorithm work as well as how do you find the check digits of an ID and how do you know if an ID number is valid or not. So if you calculate and you find that this check digit doesn't match the one that you're given, then that ID number is not valid. But if they match, then it means the ID number is valid. So that is how. And if you want to calculate, you just follow these steps that I shared with you guys.